Hey folks, I'm often asked how do I design my mobile applications, my indie apps, and yeah, while tests are running and my Mac is busy <laughs> handling just that, I can explain you. So it's currently 8.31 of the morning, I was working on my app Science 6, currently I'm testing changes, but I'm not on final design yet, my approach is to make it first working, ugly, but working, and then I'm working on design improvements. That's basically how I'm building all my applications. And of course, we can argue about that maybe all of them are still ugly, <laughs> whatever, that's subjective, but I think they are kind of okay. -ish. And yeah, my approach is basically, I have app idea in my mind, then I validate that a bit, and then I'm jumping straight into the Xcode and building the application. Because currently with Swift UI, you can prototype so fast that I do not see reason to waste time in design tools. I use it to design my apps in the past when I used UI kit and even Objective-C to develop applications because that process was way slower. Here, for example, that is my one of first applications, my free diving application, version one something probably, or version two, I don't remember, but basically, yeah. Nothing fancy, I will say, but basically I designed that like that, basically just found some inspiration, then try to kind of design something similar and so on. No, my process is more like sketching just on pen and paper, or often I'm using iPad as well to sketch user interfaces. Why? Because pen and paper is very flexible, you can move very fast on iPad, even better, you can delete and sketch again, you know. It's more flexible than design tools, you don't need to learn them, you can design some simple user interface and kind of move forward with that. And nowadays you can even just sketch design, make a photo, drop into the AI development tool and ask to help to build this user interface. So that's crazy fast. How that will look now? Yep, here it is. Perfect, basically. That's exactly what we need. Uh, okay, text should be wrapped here and I will add better images. Good. I'm not a hater of design tools or something, but basically I think that if you are solo founder, indie developer, that just slows you down because you have to design this pixel perfect design and then you just, and only after that you are able to move forward, even you have that idea in your mind all the time. And yes, it is necessary to have designs when you're working with team, especially if team is big, you need to agree those designs with stakeholders, product managers, and so on, then you have to give those designs to the uh, development team. After that, QA will verify, is it implemented correctly, and so on. So for those cases, yeah, that's important. But if you are a solo developer, I think you are just wasting time trying to design something pixel perfect. Also, if you're already doing marketing, development, design, you never will become better than full-time designer. Your designs always will be kind of less fancy and, and so on. Yeah, it is important to have a taste in design, but should you really design it? There are hundreds of thousands of applications which are designed by designer, professional designer teams. So we can just take a look on them and steal some ideas, you know. Of course, you can just open App Store up on your phone and basically look on apps that you like, but there are better tools. I will show you what I just started to use. Okay, I have a million of simulator screens because tests are running, but hope that browser will not die. So, screen designs. By the way, I have discount code for you if you want to, not sponsor it or something, uh, but I have discount code if you want to get it. Yeah, just check a link on YouTube description. Here, basically, screen designs, uh, you can see basically shitload of applications, you can see designs of those applications and so on. But that's not only that, of course you can go into the saved library and you can see whatever you already saved. For example, I'm looking into this one for my application because my app is currently still kind of very simple and very ugly, but I think that I could steal something from this, for example, screen for this screen, right? 
and uh, you can see saved groups or started applications for example and so on but what i liked the most in this application you can go and let's say for example call you can go for example inside in this whatever app folder and then you will see a video of onboarding flow you can sp speed it up and so on previously i just did that manually i downloaded the application and i was looking draws the onboarding flow to see how it works, what they do, and so on. Here, you can basically just quickly jump in and see how it works. And onboarding is very, very, very important. I just updated onboarding for a few of my applications, and I see increase in sales. I probably did video about that. I don't remember. And yeah, of course, you can see all the screens and so on. And amazing tool. This is not the one and only one tools like that, but I think this currently is the best in the market that I saw. Also, there is Icon Finder. You can take a look on icons. For example, I'm interested in health and fitness, for example, icons, and maybe productivity icons, and then bumps. Here we are. Basically, I can take a look on icons. Okay, this one looks interesting, right? <laughs> Stuff like that. You can zoom in, basically, take a look what kind of icons other apps are using plenty of useful tools, keyword finder and so on and so on. I'm just, I just started to explore this app, whatever. This video is not about the application. This video is about my process of design and basically, yeah, that's what I do. Building it first ugly, then kind of uh, playing around, having it on my phone, understand if I like the flow, then I understand what I would like to change in it. And basically when I already have rough and ugly version working like i built today on the morning where is my simulator that's what i call rough and ugly it's kind of working but it doesn't look nice right but we have base functionality here it is working and now i will kind of go and improve it so yeah then i kind of start improve design and then it is just iteration already when you feel that okay it's good enough to release i'm releasing and then working on design updates and so on that's it. I'm not hiring designers. Probably I should, but I don't know. Do I really? Because designers should understand exactly what application is doing. If designers do not understand that, it's kind of tricky. And again, that is uh, time and money investment. Maybe I will do that someday, but uh, yeah, not today. Not in today's process. Currently, I just moving too fast <laughs> to waste time on uh, communication with designers because now it is already 8.43. I have about 15 minutes to edit this video and then I will start to work on the freelancing project and jump back on this project later today at night. Maybe I will do some live stream as well. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, bye.